very good day to you people my name is Mohit and guys today I'm gonna show you how to play audio on your website without actually worrying about uh, the cross browser compatibility I was looking for a perfect solution guys and I think I found one I'm sure I found one let's see how we can accomplish guys everything that is very easy in life isn't really valued but I think you should value this let me open up my local site folder guys and here uh, there's just one folder it's called song and if I dig inside it uh, it's got just one file and that's uh, called song.mp3 uh, file alright I don't really have to worry about the format because uh, I've done earlier tutori uh, tutorials earlier in which uh, I had to make sure that uh, this you know the version either had to be an mp3 or an OGG alright so um, I had to have different formats I had to either use the embed uh, tag or I had to use the object tag or I had to use the audio tag but this guys does not uh, need to, to uh, we didn't, uh, really don't need to worry about the format we don't uh, really need to worry about all the different tags I think it's it's great it's very very useful okay well, guys what you need to do is you need to download from the internet uh, a software an application which is called web audio plus alright if you actually google uh, web audio plus at least on my uh, Google uh, search I get it as the second result please get it from download.cnet.com link I'll put it up I'll put the link in my uh, description guys you can uh, open it up from there okay so it's available as a, a, a free software download from uh, download.cnet.com get it from there it's a very small uh, software guys install it and let me then show you quickly how to use it it's really so simple it's a breeze guys let me open up the web audio plus okay now it says website audio made easy indeed so there are two options guys uh, initially that uh, you can first record a song sound uh, we'll skip that we'll load uh, an mp3 or a wave sound from uh, our PC the hard disk uh, instead I'll say next uh, guys then I need to locate the file that I need to use there it is in my song folder in my local side folder I'll say open alright then guys I need to select the quality of the sound uh, let me keep it at high quality because any anyways the size in flash is just 235 KBs which is fine alright I'll say next and then guys I need to select a button okay I'll go with the default but change the color instead okay you have an option to just have uh, one single play pause toggle button or you can have uh, all the three buttons a play and a pause and a stop button and guys uh, see this is the preview alright so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this next button and uh, in fact you have an option to auto play the audio if you check uh, if you tick this uh, checkbox alright it's entirely up to you I will in fact uh, keep it ticked and then you can s uh, select the size of uh, the button okay the 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 uh, movie width and the height as they call it guys if you're using Dreamweaver uh, we'll have a different way but if you're not using uh, Dreamweaver uh, what you can do is you can just uh, click on this button which says uh, copy HTML text and uh, it will copy this text and what you need to do is you just need to go in your HTML code and just drop this code out there and you should be fine alright next what I'm gonna do is guys I'm gonna click on this button which says make rather I'll uh, change the directory where it will be published so I'll say play button play underscore btn alright the software is now going to generate an SWF file guys and then I'll click on this button make alright let me just open up the player that has just been generated this is the way it looks guys this is a full screen view awesome I think it's awesome guys this is the full screen view so don't worry about uh, the actual size is uh, a much smaller alright let me go to my local site folder and uh, there it is that's the actual size guys awesome now I'll tell you how to actually include uh, this SWF uh, file in uh, Dreamweaver it's pretty simple guys I'm sure most of you guys know that so you just need to say insert media SWF need to save the file mm, 
whatever. I'll skip the uh, the title access uh, key and the tab links for the moment, and there it is. Let me show it to you in Google Chrome. All right, so some supporting files will be uh, created and saved in my local site folder, which is fine. There it is, guys. Wasn't that so simple? All right, guys. So. Um, it's a very simple solution on how to play audio create your own uh, custom buttons make it autoplay or uh, leave it as it is so guys I hope you like this tutorial found it useful I'll see you next time with yet another tutorial in uh, Adobe Dreamweaver CS 5 or 5.5 or it could be flash with ActionScript 3 peace